This is Cactus Jim speaking, or make that Senor Cactus Jim. And this is my recipe from the Southwest. I call this Sonoran South of the Border Chicken Stew. What you want to do is get yourself seven or eight uh, chicken thighs, or you could get drumsticks. Uh, you put three or four tablespoons of olive oil in a four quart pan, saucepan. Uh, turn it up on high and fry these babies uh, on either side until they're brown. And then what you want to do is take them out, set them aside, and you'll have your other ingredients ready to go in. For example, one large onion, uh, two or three large potatoes or medium potatoes, a uh, cup and a half of celery chopped up, uh, and uh, yeah, you could throw in some corn if you want. I did it on this one. So you set those aside. Now you're starting to cut things up. Uh, there's oh carrots, yes, of course, and that white uh, vegetable. I think that's a turnip. Maybe it's a rutabaga. Uh, doesn't matter. It's going in there anyway. If you're wondering why the firearm. Once neighbors smell this cooking, they're going to come over and try to steal it. Rule of the kitchen here is, you steal my food or recipe, you're going to die. So, moving right along. Here's the potato. I chose a large potato, just one, but it's big, probably a pound and a half at least. Cut it up, small cubes. There's some wild rice. You can serve the stew over. Uh, there's the celery. Uh, be, sh be sure to add the um, celery leaves. They add a distinctive taste and they also contain numerous vitamins and minerals that your body needs and will crave if you don't give it to them. Here's the bowl with things all cut up ready to go in. The chicken set aside. You can see how brown it is. Just a little bit really. Uh, you don't have to burn it to a crisp. Uh, there's your whole onion cut up being uh, turned into a translucent thing. Once that's done, you've got all your vegetables ready. Actually, I see I put a few spinach leaves in here too. No problem. And then uh, six cups of chicken broth, or you could really use just water, but if I have the broth, I'm going to use it. There I've added the chicken thighs back into the pot. And from this point on, I set it at high, 25 minutes. I th oh, I forgot almost. I throw in a, a jar of this uh, salsa, medium. Uh, it's a Hatch brand, Tex-Mex. If you can possibly get the Hatch brand, always get the hatch brand. If you learn nothing else from this video, get the hatch brand. So there I've already added the hatch brand and then I've added about five tablespoons of a good mild chili powder, again from Hatch, New Mexico. It's the chili capital of the country in case you didn't know that. If you're ever in the area you've got to visit, they have a couple of real nice cantinas. Um, Gas prices are reasonable. Gift shops are uh, about what you'd expect. And uh, there are a couple of motels in town too. It's a neat place to stay. There it's finished in a bowl. I've put the chicken thigh, which is cooked now, of course. I don't eat raw chicken. Uh, on a plate. Now I'm going to have some of this. It's called flesh stripper. It's kind of cross between a wine, a whiskey, a gin, and a vodka. And it'll really uh, put hair in your chest. And there's the finished product in the pot. Total cooking time, by the way. Um, and I forgot to mention, but after the first 25 minutes, set the heat down and cook it for another 35 to 40 minutes. Bon appetit. Be sure to watch my other videos on the pesto omelet, 
the Molokai Burger and some others. 